I'm Lenka DeVore and welcome to Nottingham News. Today's main headlines. As excitement builds for this year's championships, we profile some of the stars of the arena. Three days after the tragic cliff collapse at Maltby Fishing Village, we report on the latest situation. And the school trip to the outer circle that didn't quite go according to plan. But first, with the upcoming championships only five weeks away, we profile the hotly tipped competitors. And in the Marksman event, everyone is talking about Marcella Hoyle. After she was discovered at age seven playing with a homemade bow on the streets of the outer circle, the eye authorised a special day pass so Marcella could attend the inner circle's famous speed art archery academy. Now, 11 years later and having smashed all club records, this diamond in the rough is one to watch, with some championship aficionados even claiming she's the next Robin Loxley. <laughs> I'm sure the ultras of the Robin Loxley fan club might have something to say about that. <laughs> Our second one to watch is swordsman Zach Mackay. Oh my, has it got hot in here? Whew. <laughs> the only son of the well-known inner circle Mackay family, who of course paid for the refurbishment of the arena in 2002 and had the North Stand named after them. He's popular, he's talented, he's deadly. And I can tell you, his fan club has just got a devoted new member. <laughs> Let's hope he can do better than his trainer and father, Zane Mackay, who came runner-up so many times during the 1990s. And finally, here comes double trouble in the Warrior event with mother and daughter Mildred and Valerie Singer. It's Mildred's 10th attempt to progress beyond the initial rounds and now she has a whip-fast younger version of herself to contend with in her daughter Valerie. Let's hope for their household's sake they don't meet until the final. <laughs> That's all for now. We'll have more profiles for you in our championship special. More news now on the Maltby cliff collapse. Thanks to quick action from the Eye, who ordered a full evacuation two days before the collapse, no lives were lost. However, the site is still considered to be unstable and remains under military lockdown. Sources confirm guardsmen and volunteers from the Highcath Salvation Programme are working to shore up the cliffs and clear the flooded village. Once operations are complete, authorities hope to allow residents of the surviving properties back into their homes by the end of next week. And a group of inner circle school children got a rather more immersive experience of life in the outer circle than they were expecting this morning, when their school bus was briefly taken hostage by a terrorist gang. The criminals demanded grain and spare parts for a water pump. A heavily armed tactical squad neutralised the hostage takers and set the children and teachers free. Well done to the hard-working members of the guards and the eye keeping us all safe once again. In other news tonight, an increase in ration allocations. From next Friday, families will be allowed an additional 10 grams of artificial sweetener, 20 grams of dried egg and 50 grams of cooking fat. Two Greenwood terrorists were shot at the foot of the wall last night. A subsequent search of the area found cans of spray paint, which authorities believe were part of an improvised explosive device designed to damage the wall itself. The guards are looking for a third terrorist who fled the scene and who the eye suspects held the remaining parts of the device. Weather Watch Now and Halcyon Days are projected to continue for at least the coming week, with mild sunny weather and only a 10% chance of further flooding in coastal areas. Authorities still advise UV factor protection of 30 plus for any exposed skin when not in the shade. And finally, a society wedding is on the cards with distant offshoots of the Queendom's founding families set to tie the knot. The Fitzaldridge family yesterday announced their daughter Jessica's engagement to Delaney Templeton Barton. Nottingham News joins all of our viewers in the inner circle and the outer circle in wishing the happy couple well. Oh, I love a wedding. <laughs> this has been Nottingham News.
Thank you for tuning in. For more stories and information, as always, go to our website, which is on screen now and in the link below. Until next time, goodbye and may Hecate bless you.